I <laughs> never see them. I don't know where they get it from. You know. They're Jamaica. Yeah, well, like you know, Jamaica. No, I'm from, you know, I'm not from Jamaica. Where yes, where I'm from you London. Know. You know, I was born here. Then if you're born here, you're not from Jamaica. Where are you from, yes? Well, if I'm, I'm not from Jamaica, so you shouldn't say that to me. You never know that. Where are you going to You're going to sit on there. You 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 shouldn't say certain things to me because I'm not Jamaican. You don't talk. You know I came in and I said don't take any liberty with me. And Miss Richie said you go like you know a batty. So because I said the word liberty, she said you do you mean by you know a batty? Miss Richie I don't understand that I'm not Jamaican. <laughs> You know I'm not Jamaican. Yeah, I'm not Jamaican. I'm not from here, from London. I'm from London. From where? London. Where are you? Yeah, I came to Jamaica when I was small. No, I, I came to Jamaica when I was a child. I've been living here ever since. So I can speak old Jamaican and British. You never know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that is why you have to speak to me in English. Yeah, I can't see in You have to speak to me in English because I can't understand the part of it. Well, it's not everyone can. I, I, you know, British don't be. I guess I'm the first one born in Victoria, Jimmy. You hear me? Oh, I'm born in the London Hospital. Said Margaret. <laughs> But you, you, so you gotta know. You, you see, the language, uh, uh, the language is in me. So I try to adapt to the Jamaican language. I want to you now. Come on, for that now. Come back to Jamaica. No, uh, because I'm British. So, so at times I speak British, and at times I speak Jamaican. Yes, yeah, me laugh and me no laugh. No, but I'm just telling you. So certain things you can't say to me. You have to speak to me so I can comprehend what you're saying. He went down outside to Renee. Could you, I, I can't understand what you just said. What are you asking me? No, I, I, I have to speak in a little bit. You're asking me if Rev Joshua, I said to you. I can't understand what you said clearly, okay, so yes, I, I want you to speak in a, in a different type of language from <laughs> me. What did she say? Can you repeat it for me? What she said, Ernie? Okay, when you say Jamaican Papua, what do you mean by that? Well, you have to. I, I can't understand you Jamaican people. I say I can't understand Papua, and she's telling me that that she, you know, turn the camera. She want to speak. From I take her out yesterday, she having a, a little cough because she was in the AC. You should have given her a medicine yesterday. I just gave her some. Tina, could you get me some ice? Yeah, you give me the, the medicine the wine, uh, yes. and the I gave you. Did you give her medicine? Did not me just get you the cough medicine? Don't touch me. Anyway, could you come up closer with the camera? So, Miss Richie, hold it down. Miss Carol sent these pampers for you and a case of Ensure. And it's from Kim. I think it's coming from Kim. So a lady what named am I to say and what am I to do? Oh, you got to tell her thank you for what she sent. Watch it, it's under my feet. Oh my God. And somebody left this for you right there. It's about a chocolate biscuit. Yeah. And a buck of Ferro Rochelle. It's a chocolate Victoria biscuit. And a Ferro Rochelle. Let me see. Can I uh, no, that's for you. I'm, I'm from London, so we got a lot of chocolate over there. <laughs> yeah. Yes, so you can tell the person what you want to tell them. Yes, the woman can do I say no. The person that sells them, tell them what you want to say. Yes, to Carol. Carol, it's a case of Ensher. Turn it around, let them see who said it, yeah? I don't want them to say I didn't show the name. Hold it on it, please. Steph, yeah, it's he said Steph. Yeah, Miss Richie. 
You saw the name? Yeah, they send it all the pampers. Yes, they send it. You like them? Yeah. Mr. Chair, I think this is the destroyer that's making you cough. It's very strong. Why? Could you turn it off? Why? Could you out it? What you say? The destroyer. I think it's affecting my sinus. You? Yeah. Wait, it's under the chair. It's making me feel nauseous. Take it off. Take it off. Are you in pain? Yes, it's definitely affected. I don't. I used to vape and those stuff to make it so much more skin. Papa, son, please take it off. Yes, yeah, thank you. I got you on the phone. Thank you, Mr. Chair. This is the most to them without the money. Yeah, but I can't take that strong. I think that's irritating your coughing right there. What's your name? Yeah. Yeah. So we, we, hi guys. Good afternoon. Good night. Auntie Donna here, and we are right here with Miss Richie. For those who don't know, I'm filling in for Miss Donna. Um, we are Miss with Miss Richie, and we are here to hand out some donation. I came from London, and I'm filling in for Auntie Donna. Um, so Miss Richie, how are you doing? Wow. How are you feeling? I want Auntie Donna to see if I do a, a good work. Um, the cough is on me, but I don't know that maybe you're right. So how long have you been coughing? But yesterday the doctor gave me, if you had told me that it was persistent, Auntie Donna could have gotten something for the cough, like an antibiotic or something. He only gave us Isita. Let me see what, and you never gave it to her. So I want you to give it to her three times a day. I'm going to uh, report to Auntie Donna that I came. And you never gave her the Isitar. Alright, so I like when you take it now, I think it will food the car for me. And I've got a little food, you know what a little food are? I've got a little food, you know what that is? Have you ever heard about little food are? Tell her what I mean. It's a, it's, it's a little food, it's a cough medicine. It's got garlic in it. I'm going to bring, I'm going to, yeah, yeah I bought it from London. Yeah, it's very good, it's got garlic in it. I think it's made by Benjamin. It's got garlic taste in my mouth. That would be good for your throat. Yes, I was thinking of the garlic, you know. Yes, I'm going to, Tina, could you look in my kitchen, on my cu kitchen cut, you see a little food off in Auntie Donna's kitchen. Bring it from a fishy. So, Miss Richie, Auntie Donna asked me to advise you that she has officially closed her charity and that she sent me right here um, to hand over these donations to you and to Ernie and to the other guy. She said she's very proud of you. Um, she's very happy to see that Claudia, Claudette, Ernie and Norman has been taking so much good care of you. Yes, they're doing a tremendous job. When Auntie Donna comes here, I can see it in the video, the place is always clean. You are always clean, you are always beaming, you are always in a jokey fine mode. So I came today and she asked me to come and hand over the donations for you. Yeah, so. Uh, so yeah, she told me, but you know, I can match this lady. Oh, Miss wow. Donna told me she's very feisty, so I should be, I should trust her. What? Miss Donna told me that you are very feisty. Yeah, you're very rude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Donna? She's, yeah, she said that. Yeah, she's very rude. Yeah, and I don't like feisty people. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I'm one finger for that. Okay, well, I'll, I'll tell you that. I don't know. When I go back to her, I'll tell her everything. That, uh, as a matter of fact, she's going to see me working here. She's she probably on the live now watching. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, that's true. yeah, she'll be watching this video. Yeah. So, Miss Richie, how has it been since Miss Donna is looking after you? How, what, what kind of impact has Miss Donna leave on your life? Yeah, she's all right, man. Uh, yes, I'm glad to yeah. yes. Oh, that what she's doing. I wonder what what what, what inspires Miss Donna to do that to you? I'm wondering what inspires Miss Donna to do, to take such interest and take care of oh, Richie. Yes, yes, yes. God is on this listen to me now. Serious is peace. Uh -huh. God is on the job, you know. And, you see, 
So what do you mean? When you say Jamaican, it's the Jamaican lingua or it's the Jamaican, what is it? When you say what goes around comes back around? Oh, so what do you mean by that? Could you interpret that for me? Yeah. It's some of the young people and people that live in the city. Uh-huh. They make it a sad risk here. Yes. Whatever you hang out, when you're young, somebody, uh -huh. I come back to you. Wow. Well, all right. So we know, we know that we respect all people. We don't say anything. Oh, well, sorry, you couldn't ask me to do anything. Correct. Take up this with you all down there, so. I'm walking you down there, so. We do it. Yes, yes. We do it. So, in other words, Ms. Richie, what you're saying that if somebody do you good in life, yes. good will follow you. Of course. Okay, thank you. And so, if you like, if you give it, you give up, if you give good out. Yes. When your time comes, you can, there's a time when I realize when you have a need here. Uh-huh. And if you even have your relative around you, people will help you. People will not, not, not connect with you, will help you. Okay, and I prove it. Okay, and, and, that, and definitely because Miss Donna is total stranger to you. She ain't related to you. And God has blessed Miss Donna um, to use her platform or phone and get help for you. Total strangers. God is on the job. Yes, definitely. But in a job, you can't turn. Anything, anything, you, anything you do, it will come back to you. Very good, Miss Richie. I can see that. So, Miss Richie, have you, have you have any faults with Miss Donna? Is there anything that Miss Donna does that you don't like? No, she won't ask me that. No, we just asked him for her to see. Where she put it, she can't go straight. Where she put it, she can't do anything to me. Okay, just, uh, just you know, we we just wrapping up, so we just checking to see if there's anything that Miss Donna has ever done to you that, you know, that, has Miss Donna been good to this lady? It's not good enough, yeah. Oh, she, oh body's not in her group, eh? No, oh, she can, she can. She not in the first place, she not in the I'm all right, man. Sure. Oh, I'm all right. Yes. Yes. So, okay. So, this is our Yes. 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 So what Miss Donna does is that when she comes and video you, what does she do with your money? I'm a little curious. And does she ensure that you get the necessary things that you need for the month or your yes, yes, I it when I can sometimes. So get grocery, you know? Okay. So whatever. And I heard so she also does she buy your gas and stuff like that that you need? Yes, that's another so okay, thank you, Miss Richie. Um you know, I don't know. anything that Miss anything that Miss Donna does that you, you want the world to know? Um Yes. Don't stop. Just I'm glad we are to you know because there are two big two girls down into a them dead girl. Okay. So it's not really in the book and so yes. you have got a provider. Yes, yes. So you yes, yes. because she don't know me. Okay. I'm gonna relate all, all what you're saying to me right now. Um Miss Donna is gonna be um how much is that? Okay, well, all that you are saying to me, please don't, yeah. All that you're saying to me right now, Miss Donna is going to be able to watch it later. But she couldn't get to come. So, anyway, Miss um, Donna got some donations from. Could you come over with the phone so that Miss Donna, she likes the video everything? That is how she does her program. But unfortunately, Miss Donna is a baker, and this is the time of year. Hey, hey, she has been so yeah, she bakes, yes. So she's going to go into a baking season soon, so she want to get rid of everybody. But one thing, one thing that Miss Donna told me, she said, you know, I'm going to leave Miss Richie, Mr. English, 
and Mr. Basselson open so that persons can still and Miss Marcia so and mostly oh, most of the age of a person there's a lady on the program by the name of Tommy Faye yeah she's from London like I do we see we go for tea and chit chat sometimes she said she's gonna leave the program open so that the donors who love you Miss Richie can come by and purchase grocery from Rushmar or anything that you might need there's gonna be an open tab at Rushmore for you guys so because Miss Marcia is blind she has a son by the name of Marcus who is sickly so she, she want to open the line so that those persons can get grocery during the holiday season but she will always have it open because what Miss Donna told me too Miss Richie is that you were the first person that um, she started a charity with she, you were the first person that she gave a pudding to and gave the money to. Do you remember that? Hey, <laughs> yes, yes. And that's how she told me that's how, <clears throat> she told me that that's how the program started. Yes. So <laughs> anyway, with nothing further, you have to do this as old Miss Donna would do it. So she's gonna call out these donations and pass them on to Ernie and then you'll hear who gives and who don't give. So Miss Richie, this is thirteen thousand from Jesus Pilot Me. All right, sorry, we you count this for me, please? Young minus, yeah, let's start the word, right? You can sit down. 13,200. All right, Miss Richie, 13,000, no, Miss Richie, 2,700 from Karen. Yes. Yeah, those are Miss Donna donors. They love Miss Donna. Yes. Okay, Miss Richie. And Miss Richie, 4,000 from Claudette in Cayman. Claudette? In Cayman. Yes. Yes. Okay, Miss Richie, 13,005 from K in Germany. K in Germany. Yeah. It's done as a donut all over the world. Yeah. Right spread. Yes. So no. young man, you man did you have dinner? No, he's video that's crow. He's that's Miss Donald's friend, Crow. He's, no, video the, he's doing the video for Auntie. So he's definitely in working. Yes, he's helping me to video. Because Tina said she don't want to do no foolishness with the video for Miss Donna to cuss her. Okay, Miss, Miss, Miss Richie, have you ever heard Miss Donna talk about somebody by the name of Kiki? Kiki? You never you heard? Know, it, 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 okay, so Miss Donna explained to me that Kiki. Just like Ziggy Molly, heard her teacher talk about Ziggy Molly. Yes. She always sends water for you. She was the one that keep your birthday. I watched your birthday from London. It was awesome. Yes, 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 my lady. Yeah, and, and, and guess what happened? <laughs> yes, what Miss Richie, you cast Donna out because Donna said it over Yes, because you, Donna went out and got you a black and white dress, and you were super mad. <laughs> don't remember that. So you don't want any black and white dress and Kiki organized most of that birthday party. Yes. So we want to big up Kiki, no, Big Ziggy Marley did the party. So Kiki and Ziggy Marley are two of your favorite people. And Kiki's sister came by and she gave me 30,000 Jamaican dollars for you. Hold on to this, you want me to take care of her? No, this is from Kiki, but Kiki... Yeah, Ziggy Molly is the one that always takes care of you. Also, Kiki, but she's a lawyer now. She finished law school and she's a full-fledged lawyer now. So she don't get to watch the live that much anymore. But when I'm on, she saves all my lives. Yeah, that's Kiki, 30,000. Yeah, she's a lawyer in Canada. She's a, she's a criminal lawyer and she, uh, yeah. So, Miss Richie, $5,000 from Miss Pearl Granddaughter. Miss Pearl Granddaughter. Oh, you don't like it? Oh, you want me to speak Papua? I can't speak Papua. How much? $5,500, yes. Miss Richie, 
$3,000 from Winsome seller down on Beckford Street. I think Miss Donna said this Miss Winsome gave the other Miss Winsome to give Miss Richie. And, and she sells on Beckford Street. Her name is Miss Winsome. So Miss Winsome in, Be in Beckford Street, downtown Jamaica, Kingston, bless up yourself. She's an Igla. And she sent three thousand dollars for Miss Richard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Ernest, you look after Miss Richie. Okay, so are you related to Miss Richie? No, I'm not. Let call it is my auntie, cause my uncle. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so your, aunt, your uncle, what, wife or girlfriend? Never call it a new wife, cause never, oh, never, never oh. move from such small. So, so what makes you want to come and take care of Miss Richie? Every day you want to go on another one. Oh, another the one. love, the love. What my uncle. I'm just asking because Miss Donna didn't tell me these things. Yeah. The love what my uncle showed me, and grow amongst him, and come back, come see. So I have to put it back to Miss Richie. Okay. So Ernie. So I have to put it back to Miss Richie. Okay. So Ernie. Somebody by the, by the name of Victoria Park, she sent you ten thousand dollars, so that's for you. Could you please put it one side? Because you are because Claudia is working now, Miss Donna said, so he's always here. Yeah, she told me. Yes, he said God. Okay. Yeah, Claudia is working. Yeah, yeah many, many times. All right, many, so Ernie is like the folk, and Norman goes to work at, in the day too. Brother and sister. That's brother Claudia's sister. brother. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Norman and Claudia. Okay. So, Miss Richie from Donna Marie, could you open this? I don't know what's in it, I can't remember. Okay, this is $50 from Donna Marie. I think this lady was somebody who came. I don't remember who is Donna Marie. I fifty dollars. Oh my God! Something is biting me. Miss Richie's a cockroach. Oh my God! Get him, this young girl, a big cockroach. Oh my God! He's getting caught on my feet. He gone under there. Yeah, Jesus! Oh my God! You see him? Oh my God! Take him out. Oh, you're catching something. Wow! I need to have a heart attack. Jesus. Yeah, he ran on my feet, Miss Richie. Oh my God! Young guy, you know, you're not biting, you know. I know. Oh my God, I'm scared, Miss Richie. I don't like those. I gotta get the pest control people to come to your house, cause they come to my house almost. Yeah, they spray and they put up things mostly three to four times a year, so you don't get cockroaches in your house. I'm scared of them. Listen to me. Don't care you do, then come. No, they don't come to my house because they set the things all about the place, so they don't come. Okay, early come back. I nearly had a heart attack. Oh, sorry. I sorry, can't sorry, believe sorry. I come to Jamaica to let cockroach on my feet. I would oh, you come my... to Jamaica and see all the Jamaican people on my feet. Oh, my God. I feel so nervous <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why this guy and cockroach come near me. Okay, Miss Richie, 8250 from Arlene in London. So oh I think she got, the job. I think she's at her house starting on her baking stuff. She's gonna start baking in November, I think it's the second week or the third week of November. I think sometime there she said she's baking. So Ernie, I see that a lot of persons know you. How did they know about you? That's true, Miss Richie. Oh, when Miss Donna comes here and video you. Yes, yes. Oh, Okay, so Ernie. This, this, this one is so good. This one is loving. This one is my favorite, you know. It's loving and kind. Oh, Ernie. Yes, ma'am. Well, that is so good for you to say that of him. Okay, so. Like so, Miss Richie, 5000 from JJ. Marshall JJ. It's very hot in Jamaica. I don't know why it's so hot here. It's very hot. I've used the cold one. How much is that? 6000 from Marshall JJ. Yeah, 6000 so Ernie, a lady by the name of Grenada, she sent you thirty thousand dollars, and she's telling Miss Donna to tell you that she likes how you take care of Miss Richie and the gentleness how you take care of her. So she blessed you with thirty thousand dollars. Yeah, so when you hold it up, you deserve a million dollars, Ernie. I don't know why Miss Donna needs to run a marathon for you. How much is that? Yeah, Miss Donna is okay. She's at her home falling out her baking stuff. For thirty thousand, that's for, that's why you put it separate. Don't put it with Miss Richie, Bonnie.
So Miss Richie, this is three thousand three hundred dollars from Dawn. Alright. Oh, the Jamaican news is going on, Miss Richie. Do you want the Jamaican news? Oh, I said the Jamaican news is going on. Oh yes. yes. Yeah. So Miss Richie, six thousand five hundred Jamaican dollars from 142 East Belize, 142 East Belize. Yes. 6,500. This one is also for you, Ernie. 6,500 from 142 East Belize, yeah? Ernie. Belize. Yes. So that's your money. You don't put that with Miss Richie's money, all right? So when what time does Claudia come to your Ernie? She comes on the weekend and she goes back she where? She wasn't here last weekend, you know. Oh, she wasn't here? Mm. Oh, so she hardly comes. She's a busy man. Oh, she's working. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we still want to bless her because she's been looking after you, isn't that so? Yes, she's always been looking. We still have to bless her. So, Miss Richie, don't put your money with Miss Richie money. The one I just gave is for you. But then separate, you know. Six thousand five hundred. That's for you, Ernie. Yeah. No, that is two. This. Did you put it over here, Ernie? Where you the one put behind you? Oh, we we'll put the five hundred. Right? Yes. Put that with your. Don't put your money. Those are what people bless you for looking after, Miss Richie. Okay. So Miss Richie, five thousand eight hundred from Natasha in Philly. Yes. Are you taking everything, Carl? Thank you, Carl. Okay, Miss Richie, 3000 from Marie in England. And Miss Richie from Lori in Virginia. I don't know what this is. It's a $5,000. Okay, so Miss Richie and Ernie, as Donna would do, Auntie Donna would do, could you tell the donors what you want to say to them? Um, many, many times, Donna. It is not for you now, but we to deal with Miss Richie. So I give you many, many thanks for everybody what said. So I'll continue. Please continue. Bless Miss Richie. And I will always do my work. Always. I'm not changing. I was watching Miss Donna's live and she was speaking so fondly of you. She was saying that you, she saw you tidy Miss Richie. You lotioned her by yourself. You combed her hair. <laughs> you put on her clothes. Donna was so astonished. If it's for me, you know, she doesn't so do it. Yet. He's gonna do it, Miss Richie. So, Miss Richie, could you tell the donors what you want to tell them for all this that is there? And send a message to Miss Donna. Glad for everything. Thank God for everything because I hope in here nobody know that my relative them gone leave me. My daughter, my two daughters dead. So when they adopt me, so I'm glad for no man. All of you know, take care of me. And to Miss Donna, Miss Donna, the main one. Yeah, so what, what is it that you have to say to Miss Donna so I can go back and tell her? Yes. She not come, but why she alright, thank God. Oh, Miss Richie, you know what? Miss Donna was telling me about these two American ladies, chocolate and biscuit vanilla, and... They were saying some naughty things about you. They were saying that you were Miss Donna lawyer. Did I the one that grudge Miss Donna? Miss Donna made so many different cakes, and they are mad. Yes, that's and true. They, yes, and they were saying that oh, Miss Donna go and get Miss Richie as a lawyer, and they are afraid of you. And you were sending threats to them and stuff like that. You want to send a word to Chocolate and Whiskey? Somebody need chocolate and Yeah, and the first thing you love chocolate. Whiskey. And they have your name. I don't know why. Chocolate and biscuit. Okay, it, 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 oh my god, did, did you won the case? Oh my 
God. Don't say another word. You said if you could have eaten them, you would. So they can't come for you anymore because they are biscuit and chocolate. And that's, that's what you love. Oh my God, Miss Richie, you got to get a round of applause for that one. They can't come for you because they are food and you eat food. You chocolate and biscuit. I want you to hear what Miss Richie said. You chocolate and biscuit, you know. Why, Miss? Why? Am I not big like Miss Donna? Oh my God, you're gonna get naughty you now, Miss Richard. You can't eat it. You can't eat it. Of course I can. You know, from when that seriously speaking, you know, from when that eat the chopping. We got dip to the chopping from Miss. So Miss Richie, hold on a second. You just said something that irritates my spirit. What are you saying that I can eat chocolate, Miss K? I ask if you can. You can. So I, what, what are you implying that I'm big? Okay. No, that's not the point. I thought you were being naughty. Some people, listen to me. This is sweet. Some people can't eat, not even sugar, don't care eat, and not drink it. Miss Richie, you know what I don't understand with you? Your mouth is very saucy. Where you get that mouth from? Where you get that what? Mouth. Where you get your mouth from? Where you get here from? Let's just say her name. Where you get the mouth from? Oh, I want to find out where. Uh, that's what Miss Donna told us. <coughs> okay, let us count the money. God, 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 could you come up with the camera, please? I don't want Miss Donna to say anything that she did. I didn't count the money and sort out the money. Oh, Tina, come right here and help me count Miss Richie money, please. Because Auntie Donna would ask you to do the same. Ernie, could you hold this? Let Auntie Donna and Tina count. All right, hold the camera, please. Are you seeing us, girl? Miss Richie, you are very naughty. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have, have so many things to tell Auntie Donna about you. One, two, three, four, five. Go follow them back, Ernie. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like, you know, Ernie, long time. No, I, I heard him about you him through Miss Donna. I watch Miss Donna video. They left her life, never miss me. So when I go home, I'm going to get my phone to see what she was recording today. Hold on a second. One, two, remember to... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a hundred dollars. Ernie, you keep the monies in your hand. Don't put them down. Let me and Tina do the counting, all right? Yes, one, two. Don't give us your money, you know. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four, one, two. One, two. He got some hundred dollars. Two, three, four, five, six. Yo, man, what's your name? Crow, Miss Richie. His name is Crow. He works for Miss Donna. He's a he's a DJ, according to him. But he sings naughty music. <laughs> You know him, Miss Richie? Have you ever seen him before? He was born right down the road, down by Byron Road. Hold on to this, Tina. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Hold on to this, Ernie. So, Ernie, Miss, uh, as Miss Donna would do, she's not here, so I'm going to take charge for her. I'm going to give you some money for yourself, Claudia, and your brother. One, two. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm a Tina. You have any thousand dollars in your hand? Count these for me, Tina. I've got more 500. Jamaican money ain't value nothing, you know, Miss Richie. No, my no one. I see any. You can't tell me any, you know. Oh, cool, Miss Richie. Cool. 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 Ernie knows him. Five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are younger generations, Miss Richie. He knows you, but you don't remember him. Miss Richie. One, two, three, four, five, six, two times, seven, total five. This is eight thousand. Eight thousand. Two times, eight thousand. Eight thousand five hundred. How much is that? Give me five. Eight thousand nine hundred. This is nine thousand. You must.
must take her money from her and spend it. She have them the same way. One, two. Miss Richie, mm -hmm. look at what Miss Donna. I'm going to show Miss Donna. You got 100, no, 10, 20, 30. Hold on. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Hold on, Gina needs money. Okay, this is one. Okay. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100,000. 9, 109, 100,900 and how much? 9,800. 9, so, Ernie, that's your donation that donors gave you, right? So, I'm going to put a 20 on that. Count that. So, that's your money over there. So, this is from Miss Richie to what year, what you got. Take up your money. Ernie, pass that one. That's a $50, Miss Richie. Hold on to this. I'm, I have this. The so 50 um, US dollars. Give him something, yeah? Oh, the crow. Yeah, I'm going to give him something on the camera. In the one, in the one private. He said he told you. He never said that. Crow, tell Miss Richie your name. Miss Richie, I'm telling you. It's cool. Like a John Crow. Crow. Yeah, tell her your crow. correct name. Like that. Shemar. Shemar. Oh, she's starting to tell me. Yeah, she don't want to hear no damn crow. Oh, she want to hear no damn crow. Yeah, but crow. Come, and to you. All right, Miss Crow. Yeah, me now, Crow. Miss uh, <laughs> Shamar. So you got 21 years, right? So how much you got in all for yourself? With what Miss Richie gave you. She again, she again something. She money. She know she got money yesterday, Miss Richie. She ain't getting no money. They all got marathon money. Nobody getting no money. At all the yeah, that been good, no, right. Miss Richie, oh. she got money all yesterday. Right. You know what? No. Right. Right. How much that Ernie? Nobody getting no money from you here. They get money. <laughs> I got money. I don't want your money. How much that? Oh, God, God. And that's 66,000. That is your money. To do anything you want to do. Not to look after. Do anything in here for Miss Richie. Now your brother, he's working and he's only here on a Sunday. Yeah, I know him though. That's Norman. No. Miss Donna talks about him and that he's very naughty to you at times. I know, I know. I know. So I'm going to give you 10,000 for Norman. Because he only comes on a Sunday. And I'm going to give you 20000 for, what's her name? Claudia. It's not a pay. She's working, but she comes even a, when a Friday or a Saturday. So that can do something. You give Norman that. So Auntie Donna, you want to keep the $50 or you want me to? The 50 should I give him the, the rest of the money or what? The keys? Yeah. Okay, so I've got $50 earning. I want you to bake it. And 20, 40, oh, 50, 000, 50, oh my god, I forgot. So, you got guess what I'm gonna do now? This is 50,000 plus 50 US. I'm gonna take note. So, this money, I'm not gonna, I know, I'm, I know what I'm gonna do with that. Just watch me, just watch me, Miss Richie. So, this is 50,000, 50 US. So, Ernie. You're gonna go and make sure the gas is here. How much for the gas? Three thousand something. All right. This is four thousand to make sure you get the gas, right? Four thousand to get the gas. So you said you wanted meats and stuff like that. Okay. So you have grocery, right? You said you wanted all for meat. So this is another ten thousand to buy meat. No, you haven't got no bill. There. I paid that. It, 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 not only a chocolate, Miss Richie. So that is to get you meat and stuff. Okay, so this is one, two, three. You're going to get two cases of water. She ain't got no water. You have a clear water, natural water. Two cases of water so she has water in surplus. Because when Miss Donna is baking, Miss Donna can't be running up and down here. Miss Richie, one, give me your money that you got now. Let me put this with you. Show me your money that I gave you. Oh, I gotta give Crow something. One, two. Don't worry, Miss Richard. I'll take care of you. 
So Crow, you've been holding the camera and giving you two thousand dollars to have a drink. Or hold it for Crow, he's holding the old camera. So Miss Richie, give me your money. Where's your money that Miss Donna gave you? Uh, uh, I'm gonna put this in with it. I'm gonna give you money on it. Oh, that's why she don't wanna give me. Oh, Miss Donna say you must give me the money. <laughs> Oh, so because it's not Miss Donna, she don't want to give it to me. I want to see how much money she's got. I know, I, I know, but Miss Donna is not here, so I don't wrong you. Don't give nobody your money unless it's Miss Donna. <laughs> She don't know. She don't know it's not Auntie Donna. I'm speaking a different language, so she don't know it's me. I'm gonna reveal myself so that she can know it's me. Okay, give me her, give me her bag. All right. So, Miss Richie, mighty God, did Miss Donna not tell you to throw away this biscuit bag? I thought Miss Donna told you to throw this out. This one? The biscuit bag. No, man, it now. Um, Miss Donna told you to throw that away. Who said that? Miss Donna told me she told you to throw it away. No, I throw it away. Okay, so Miss Richie, you got one, two, three thousand seven hundred right here. I'm going to give you four. Count this money for Miss Richie. She's going to need these. That's when I'm not here. When Miss Donna is not here, she can send to the shop. As she normally does. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put all of these in there. Six thousand. Six thousand three. You may let me put it back in her bag, yeah? She's very tasty. Six thousand three. Give me that. Miss Bishy, can I throw this away? No, man, please don't. <laughs> Please put that back into that. <laughs> I'm gonna redeem myself, you know. <laughs> okay, Miss Richie. It was a pleasure looking after you for Miss Donna. Do you wanna see Miss Donna? I do the man be here to the world, she alright. Come miss her all the world, but I heard she take you to the doctor yesterday. What you say? I heard Miss Donna took you to the doctor yesterday. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let her come by Sunday and see you. Yes, I'm a fat cousin of hers. I'm yeah. Go up the branch. Why you say that? Yeah, thank you. So, Miss Richie, um, for the camera, Donna, I've got 10, 20, 30. This is what we're doing at this. Yeah, only 30,000. I paid the bill that was up there that you took the stuff again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 38,050 US for you. US? 50 US. So this this is gonna put down for you because it's gonna it's gonna sit with that you get food and everything so in case anything happen in emergency. Mr. Myrie is supposed to come and do the live how long. Miss Donna talked to him so many times. I watched Miss Donna talk to Mr. Myrie and Mr. Myrie said he's coming every day and he's no not here. No so I'm gonna put down this money for Mr. Myrie to come and fix your house up, alright? <laughs> No, this one. You want? All right, I'm going to keep. Uh, Miss Richard, I wouldn't take this. I'm going to give it to Miss Donna. All right. Why don't you trust me? I don't mind. No worries. I, the whole world is watching because I got Miss Donna phone. This man had that thing. Yeah, me, yeah, me, my, me, my dream. I gave him two thousand dollars already. Two thousand? Yes. That's too much? No, sir. No, 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 I don't know, Miss Donna blesses a lot of people, so I just gave him. We're not paying him, we're just blessing. No, he said his name is Crow, he's, he's really Crow, but his name is Shamar. But I can't see any of my 
No, that's his nickname. That's Miss Donna's son over there, Joshua. Joshua, come Come talk to Miss Richard and tell her where your mommy is. Okay, Miss Richie, I'm gonna go and let Miss Donna come and see you Sunday. Say hi to Miss Donna, son. Give her a hug, Joshua. Give Miss Richie a hug. Auntie Donna would allow you. Good boy. Miss Richie, what you gonna give him one of your chocolate? He loves chocolate. You want one of Miss Richie chocolate? She got stuck it. Give him all of Miss Richie chocolate. Look, he loved that one over there, Miss Richie. He ate Miss Donna got a pack with eight with twenty-four and Joshua ate them all out. That those ones over there, give him that one. Okay. All right, Miss Richie, I'll tell Donna that um I'll tell Donna. Yes. So Miss Donna is gonna come and see you, alright? Huh? <laughs> no, she's good. Miss Donna gave them a lot of money yesterday, Miss Richie. <laughs> yes, Joshie, tell Miss Richie thank you. Come here, someone. Yes. Yes. Yes, so Miss Richie, you got Ensure, right? Here. Don't drink too much, all right? Auntie Donna wouldn't want that. All right, Joshie. Tell her bye. Yeah, Miss Donna, send him with me. Yes. Everybody, everybody have a good night. Yes. So you 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 not like old old lady, but no man. He likes you. He's just holding the phone for me, Miss Richie. Like no, he told you his name, but you never believe him. I'm gonna uh, talk to Auntie Donna about that, Miss Richie. <laughs> yes. Okay, Miss Richie. God bless you and Miss take like care. You all you, man. Yes. You remember my name? What's my name? I don't know. This Donna's cousin right here. My name is Marie. Mary? Yeah. 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 My name is Marie. Nice to meet you, Miss Richie. Never try to remember that. Yes. I'll come back and look for you before I go back to London. Yeah. I'm from London. Yeah. Yeah. I'm from London. Yeah. Yeah. We're from London. I'm from what I say in London. Yeah. You would be in England. It's very, it's not nice again, you know, Miss Richard. It's changed up. Listen to me. Yeah. The mother was here. Yeah. I never heard to leave her. Yeah, but she was at, at the door, so. But we said we can't leave her. Oh, and go. You should yeah. have taken the she, opportunity. She wasn't sick or anything at the time, you know. Yes. We said we can't leave her and it's every day to make her, you know. But anyway, God provides me. He took me then, the two daughters and the two of them dead. Yeah. So how did Miss Donna get to know you? Okay. Okay. Yes. Somebody else. Somebody else. I think it was your, she told me that it was your husband, Mr. Lebo. Your pastor, then she used to buy from him, and you were used to root to Miss Donna. You were very feisty. <laughs> and Mr. Lebo used to give Miss Donna so much mangoes. So Miss Donna used to come and trust from. You remember when Mr. Lebo used to sell flour and sugar? And the show. Yeah, Miss yeah. Donna used to come and trust from Mr. Lebo. But you never like to see anybody talk to Mr. Lebo. So when you come in the shop and you saw Auntie Donna talking to Mr. Lebo, to Mr. Lebo, you would get so mad. Yes, she did. She told me so much about you. I mean, I mean, I remember half of that, you know. No, and, and then, she, then, what, guess what? One day you and I became friends. So, one day, Mr. Lebo picked some black mangoes for Miss Donna because the black mango tree used to be so much. Yes. So, Miss, Mr. Lebo told Donna to come around in the gate and take up the mangoes because they were in this box. So, when I, when Miss Donna came in, Miss Donna saw you sitting down on the step and you said to me, Who authorized you to come into my yard? Because you were very naughty. 
and yes so i said your husband said i must take the because i used miss donna used to love black mangoes so she came and she said who are you i said i am donna i said oh she said she's donna and she, you said where you come from i said i'm from red hills and you said so what draw you to mountain view and i said my baby daddy's name is laddie and he lives around the corner and you said oh so you said to her, "Are you what? You, how many kids you got?" And I said, "At the time, I got two kids." And you said, "Okay." And you said, "Okay." So you like black mango? Are you talking? Started talking to me, and we became. You started talking to Miss Donna, and you and her became friends. That's how she knew you. And from that day onward, you never cussed her again. But you were very naughty to her. So you remember when Miss Donna used to work and come and give you money at the airport and give bless you and Mr. Lebo? Miss A. Miss A. Maybe the wife any time Mr. Lebo. I'm gonna have her come and look for you tonight. She knows everything. No one she can come tonight. Oh, she can come tomorrow. She knows everything. Yes. She remember you very well. She said your husband was very kind to her. You should never have any money to buy anything. At the shop, he would trust her with. Yes, and you were very... You thought she was looking your husband. But you, yeah, you always in the shop. And, well, and you know, you would come and hear me talking to him. To hear Miss Donna talking to me. You stand right in the middle. Yes, yes. Okay, Miss Richie, take care. Then I remember more, more say it. I mean, remember all yes, that because you're getting a bit old. But it chips in. When, when, when I talk the thing them that Miss Donna told me, it rings a bell, don't it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, <laughs> she's not lying. Right. Okay, Miss Rich, I'm gonna let her come back and see you. Now, have a good night. Yes, I'm yeah. gonna take you to Devon House before I go back to London. Where you go back? I don't know yet. I plan to stay two weeks. Yeah. Yes, yeah. nice to meet you, Miss Richie. No, no, God bless. No, 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 no. Yes, I'm definitely coming to look for you, Miss Richie. All right. Yes. All, of you. All right, nice to meet you. Can I get a handshake? My hand is a bit dirty. Don't touch my hand because I, I was holding the money for Miss Donna. Just pat me on the sh rib right here. All right, God bless you, man. Nice to meet you. Yes, I'm gonna tell Miss Donna that you. Yes, I'm gonna tell Miss Donna that you are such a sweet lady. I really like you. Oh, that's Donna's son. That's Donna's son. Yes, Miss Richie. Nice to. All right, bless you, Miss Richie. All right, bye, 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 Ernie. It was nice meeting you. Take care of yourself, and I come back and see you before I go. That is her, his name is Ernie. Uh, I said I go back to England, my size is size nine, and I need a brown clock. Oh, you need a brown clock? Yes. So how you know about clocks in London? Um, London sell, uh, distribute the best clocks. Okay, so that's you. So you wear a, a size nine. That nine in UK size is about a size eight in British or seven and a half. No, eight and a half. Eight and a half in London. Anybody coming from London, because I didn't know I would have brought it down for you. Could you bring Ernie a size 9 brown clerks? I'm going to ask Miss Donna Plank of them, all right? All right, bless you, Miss Richie. Take care. Yes, yes. Yes. No, he, li he likes you, Miss Richie, but that's his name. Go and talk to her because crow she she, she thinks you don't like her. <laughs> yes. All is for me, Tina. Alright, alright, Ernie. Bye. Nice to meet you, Miss Richie. She, because I have this here on, she don't know it's me. I'm not going to spoil it. She said when I came in, who are you? And I said, I'm a cousin of Miss Donna. She said, where's Miss Donna? And I said, oh, she's at home. And we started to talk. So she, she was saying some stuff, and I started to say, don't take any liberty with me. And she said, you don't have bad tea. So I started to put on my language. So all now this lady don't know it's Miss Donna because of the hair. She said, yeah, you, you blend out your hair. She doesn't know it's me, Josh. Sure, keep your mouth, keep your mouth. So I've been talking to her for nearly two hours or hour, and she don't know it's me. 
So I'm glad that I get to interact with her on a different level. You know, she never, she, she don't pick up the voice. She said I look so nice. She said I look like Miss Donna. If we are related, she was asking me so. So I realized that she didn't know it was me just because of the hair. So I didn't want to spoil the excitement and the fun. So I put on my British accent to do this one. Yeah. So I will come back in a few minutes when I go to Planka shop and tell you all about it. All right. I don't want to spoil. This is a classic moment in the Panky Shop. Love you, 8.5 of you on here. She don't know it's me. Bless you. Peace out. Later.